we will see what is the sum of first and odd natural numbers. Odd natural numbers, as we know, these are the numbers which are not divisible by two. So let's take uh, first one odd natural number. I mean, that is one only, and uh, this can be written as one square. Well, what if we take two first and odd natural number? One and the second number is three. So one plus three is four, and uh, we are taking two numbers, and this can be written as two square. Let's take uh, first three odd natural numbers now. One plus three plus five. And this is, uh, we are getting nine. And uh, well, this can be written as three square. Take uh, first four odd natural number. So this will be one, three, five, seven. And the sum is 16. And this is uh, same as four square. So what we are going to observe is if we are taking the first four odd natural number, this is equal to four square. If we are taking the sum of first three odd natural number, three square, again, we can take a couple more. Let's take uh, one plus three plus five plus seven. And the next odd number is nine. And that is, uh, is equal to 25. We can add 16 plus 9, 25, no? Which is same as 5 square. Wow, isn't it interesting? Now, this property of natural numbers, we can use to find a square root of a given number by the method of successive subtraction. Here, what we are doing, we are this is the method of, we can say, successive addition of odd natural numbers. Like from zero, if uh, we are reaching to the square of a certain number, let's write one more just for fun. So if we add the next number in this, one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine, plus next odd number is 11. And well, up to nine, we had 25 and 25 plus 11 is 36. So this sum is 36 and which is, is equal to a square of six. So we took six odd natural number, or you can say first six odd natural number and their sum is equal to six square. So can we generalize the statement if we take n odd natural number, then the sum of those natural numbers would be n squared. That is, that is what this statement is. And now we are going to take the same statement to find square root by successive method of successive subtraction. And how do we find, suppose they ask, uh, find the square root of say 49 by the method of successive subtraction. So what we do is since we were adding the odd natural numbers, so we'll keep subtracting odd natural number now. In step one, 49 and subtract one. So 49 minus one is 48. And then step two, you, you are going to subtract three now the next odd number. So 48 minus, minus three should be 45. Now the third step, 45 minus five, that is 40. Well, the next is fourth step, 40 minus next odd number seven, should be 33 and then fifth step 33 minus next odd number is 33 minus 9 should be 24 and we continue like this and we will take next number which is say this is step 6 and uh, we will subtract 24 minus 11 and 24 minus 11 is 13 
and in seventh step we get this is a third step okay this is the first and in seventh step we get 13 and next odd number is 13 see we get zero that means it is actually the sum of how many seven you can say the 49 is actually the sum of first seven odd natural number and then we can conclude the square root of 49 is same as 7. Look, this is like in how many steps, uh, how many odd number, natural number we subtracted. So step 1, step 2, that's why we, we wrote step. In seventh step, we are getting this answer. That means the square root of 49 is 7. And if you see the these first odd number also, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh number so that's why square root of 49 is seven well how would you find the square root of the number which are not perfectly square by um, by this method of course you cannot but you can tell whether a number is a perfectly square or not by the mat method of successive subtraction how is that i mean you can have a question like check whether 28 is a perfect square by the method of successive subtraction. So you will check if 28 is a perfect square after a certain number of time, we must get zero. If we keep subtracting odd, you know, first n odd natural numbers from it. So let's start the first step 28 minus one, we get 27 step one. And uh, step two should be we we are going to find out whether 28 is a perfect square or not. So 27 minus 3 will give us 25. No, is that 24? Yes. And then in third step, 24 minus 5, we should get 19. And then in fourth step, this was third. Then 19 minus 7, we should get 12. And we carry on doing this. The next step is we had 12, right? Yeah, this was 12. Then 12, this is step number 5. So we get 12 minus 9, that is 3. And in sixth step, we get 3 minus 11 so negative of 8 see we didn't arrive we didn't reach to 0 we didn't get 0 in any of these steps we have uh, moved to the negative side of uh, integers that means 28 is not a perfect square and uh, we cannot find the square root of 28 by the method of successive subtraction of odd natural number